Hello, Viet In. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, I'm late. Yes, yeah, so it's okay. Why are you late? Because I'm studied math. Oh, okay. So every Tuesday, you have a class in math. Yes. And and how about on Friday? You still have class in math. Yes. Oh, okay. So every Tuesday and Friday you have math lessons. Okay. So anyway. Maybe we can start our lesson for tonight with in. Yes. All right. So tonight with in, we are having. Unit 9, Race Smirk. Okay, this is our lesson for tonight. Race Smirk. Okay, are you writing it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me when you're done. I finished. Okay, so we have here new words to learn. Can you read the following words? Get in. Backpack. Rate. Correct. Brush. Office. Smirk. Wonder. Lantern. Okay, so backpack. What is a backpack? Get in. Backpack. Okay, backpack. Is, uh, we will uh, we may obtain where it if we go to school yes it's a kind of bag and we use it mostly when we go to school very good next one how about a coat rack mm. is uh the um, Hot. Mm. Coat what? Money of coat. Yes, a coat rack. That is, uh, it's a rack that you can hang the ropes, other coat. Okay? It's like a cabinet, but it's, it's a rack. Okay, next one is a brush. What is a brush? Some I brought my teeth. Yes, there are some. Uh, there are different kinds of brush. First brush is hair brush. Okay. Next mm. brush is toothbrush. Next brush is mm, brush your teeth. Next brush yes. is paint brush. Okay. So here the brush means verb. So you are correct. Brush means brushing your teeth. Okay, next one, Viet in office. So what is an office? Place of work. Okay, so office is a place of work. Very good. Next one is smirk. I don't know. Smirk, that means smile. Okay. Smirk is smile. Next one, yes. wonder. What is wonder? Yes. Wonder is um I me ask me. Okay, you ask yourself, you think of something. Very good. Next one or oh, the last one is lunch time. Yes. What's lunch time? It's it the same uh, I have. Lunch. Yes. Lunch time means it's time for eating your lunch. Okay. Next one, Viet In. Read it first. Rambo. Uh -huh. Continue. 
Breezer, blossom, shoggy, rain, glass hind, flashlight. Okay, flashlight. Eleven is grown. Okay, grown. so now. Okay, now, Vietin, this is a story about I'm a race. Right. Ah, okay. How about number one? This one, were you, were you finished writing? Yes. Okay, this one, not yet? Yes. Okay, are you write it now? Tell me when you're done. Yes. Infinite. Okay. So now, Vipin, this is a story about race smirk. Okay, can you read it? Yes. Uh -huh. Bob threw his backpack under the car brake and hydrated into the classroom. He was led to school again, just harder being led. But little brother always for something, drop something, or force brought his teeth, go to the officer and get tardy sleep. Sign Miss Forrest Flatty. Bob Turner to leave. Suddenly he noticed Ray coming out of the courtroom with a big smick smike on his face. Okay, next one. He wondered what he might be up to during the morning. Bob looked over the ray. He was still wearing that sleeve smeek. Uh -huh. He had to be a something. But long time came and went. Miss Farad rambled on about Belize's flower blossom, and Bob still wondered. Was Ray hand up his sleeve as the left school. Ray gave Bob that same silly look on more time. Bob say what? Okay, continue. You go fly also enough late guide. When Bob home when Bob go hot home, he reached into his backpack to get out his homework. His hand is something sewing. His wrist in again and then going. Drone. Drone. Mm -hmm. As goes over his backpack, Bob grabbed his flashlight and prepared for the word. Zach, my backpack is full already to bubble. Gum. Jack, Jack, Jack. Okay, can you say it? This one with in? Grab. Grab. Okay, grab. Very good. So now let's have here some following questions. Number one, which word or words mean the same as rambled? Same word as rambled. Mm. B. Okay, letter B is correct. Talk on and on. Next one, number two, get A. What trick did Dre play on Bob? C. 
Okay, letter C. He put gum in Bob's backpack. Number three. Why was Bob worried all day? Um, A. It's letter B. He didn't know why Ray was giving him funny looks. Next one. What could be an antonym for smirk? Antonym means different meaning. Different meaning of smirk. Smile. Are you sure? Different meaning of smirk? D. Okay, very good. Brown. Next one. Was Bob late to school? True or false? True. True. Very good. Next one. What did Bob do when he came back home? He uh, read into his backpack to get out his homework. Okay, that is correct. He reached into his backpack to get out his homework. Next one, number six. Uh, number seven. What was on Bob's backpack when he opened it at home? Bob grabbed his flashlight and um, prepared for work. What what's inside his bag? Bob backpack is full already tea with bubble gum. Okay, full of chewed bubble gum is correct. Next one. Useful structure. Okay, so in this activity you got six points. Okay, one mistake only. Okay, very good. Next one with in, let's have useful structures. Okay, wonder about something. Example, I wonder why he loves me. Can you make sentence about this bit in? Mm -hmm. Wonder about something. Example, I wonder why he loves me. I wonder why he don't smile. I wonder why he don't smile. Okay. So that is the end of part one lesson. Now I will open one more. Okay. This is just about speaking skills. So this is not hard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so Viet A, next one is Unit 11, Presence. What do you mean by presence, Viet A? Is the same a gift? Yes, it's the same as gift. Okay, so let's answer some questions and answer speaking in longer sentences. Okay, first question. Describe a present or a gift that someone gave you that you really, really liked. Uh, what's that? Hmm. What's that most unforgettable gift that you received? Uh, 
is their hobby. What's that? Someone will uh, give you some hobby you like. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, it means what is the most unforgettable gift that you receive on your birthday or Christmas? I don't know. Oh, is that a piano, a bag, a shirt? What's that? The most beautiful gift that you received. Is that a laptop, a cell phone? I think prison is uh, big. Or give is small. Mm, okay. Oh, now describe it. Describe the gift that you receive that you really, really like. What's that? The gift that you really, really like. The phone. Phone. Okay, what phone is that? Can you describe it? iPhone. iPhone, okay. Now, why do you really like iPhone? Mm, I think it's beautiful. It's beautiful and you can use it every day. It's important, right? Yeah. Okay, next one, bit A. Okay, here, these are some examples or pictures of presents that somebody receives. Okay, what's the first picture, bit A? The picture one is code. Mm -hmm. Picture next. two is a book and notebook. And uh, picture clock. three, watch. Watch, mm -hmm. um, or animals. Yes, animals or pets. So let's talk about clothes first, Viet A. When somebody gives you clothes as a gift, will you accept it? Will you like it? I like the pet. Ah, pet. Ah, why? Why do you like pet and not this other one? I think it's beautiful and cute. Yeah, it's beautiful and cute. And you can play with it, right? And like watch, you just use it every day. And like clothes and books, when you finish yes. it, there's nothing yes. more to do. Okay, next question, Viet Aang. Do you like giving presents to others? Yes. For example, who is... Uh, the person that you give gifts every year. Who is mm. it? You give My presents. Best friend. Every um every Christmas you give it or every birthday. No, I don't like Christmas Day. Why? I don't know. Oh, it's not important in Vietnam. I uh, I think it's uh not interesting. Mm. So when do you give uh, presents? In the birthday. Ah, birthday of your friend. Okay. Because you know what? Here in the Philippines, Christmas is very important. We celebrate mm. it very long. Starting from Christmas up to New Year. That is a very long celebration. Okay, next mm. one, Vet A. When do you give or receive presents to others? So your answer is birthday, right? Okay, now it's when do birthday. you... Birthday. Birthday. Okay, how about you? When do you receive gifts? Receive. When? When do you receive gifts? In a tech holiday. 
Ah, so Tet holiday is more important than Christmas in Vietnam. Yes. Okay, but do you celebrate Christmas, Viet In? In Vietnam has Christmas Day. In a uh, uh -huh. what does Prina Desu? What's again? What the? What is that again? Desu. Desu. Yes. What's that? What do you mean by that? It's a. Um, it's a um, go to Zeshu. Go to go Zeshu. Go Zeshu. Is that a place? I must try. Okay. Ah, Jesus. Okay, in English. Vietnam. In yeah. Vietnam, talk this name is Jeshu. Jeshu. De and Shu. Ah, but in English, we pronounce that as Jesus. Yes, okay. this is a J. Jeshu. And this is Shu. Ah, okay. Now I know, Jeshu in Vietnam is Jesus. Okay. Yes. So now, these are some occasions which we receive gifts, okay? First one is birthday, Christmas. Past your exam or holiday. Okay, I want to talk about past your exam. Okay, so Viet Ain, when you pass your exam, do you receive gift mm -hmm. from your mom or dad? This is uh, um, if I have passed my exam, mm -hmm. I will very uh, scared. Why? Because I scared the um, mark. Mm -hmm. It's uh, not good. Ah, oh, it's not good. Okay, yes. but when you have perfect score in the exam, does your mom or your dad give you a reward or something? My uncle. Oh, your uncle gives you? My uncle teach me. I teach you what? No, teach. Teach. Eat mat. A treat? Yes. Treat. Mat. Ah, in math. Yes. Okay. Teach. Yes. Ah, oh, so your uncle teach you in math. Yes. Okay, so I, th I think your uncle is really good in math. Yes. Okay, that's nice. So next one, bit A, let's have this one. Which do you prefer, giving or receiving presents? Which one do you like? You give or you receive? Give. Why? Why do you like giving? Because um, I think if I give somebody their present, uh -huh. I have a kind. You are kind? Yes. Oh, okay. But but when you give presents, Vietnam, do you give plenty or only one people? No, if they have a birthday, uh -huh. 
Yes. Okay, when somebody has birthday, you give them present. Yes. Mm, very good. You're so grateful. Okay, now let's talk about the second part, bit A. Firstly, read the model or example, the practice talking about presents, 7 to 10 sentences. Okay, first one, read the vocabulary words. Purchase, patient, and wrap. Follow, please. Enter, intro. Okay. So, number two word is passion. Can you say it? Passion. Okay, number four word is fabulous. Fabulous. Okay, very good. Now, purchase. What do you mean by purchase, Bit A? If I go shopping. Uh -huh. Yeah, if you, if you go shopping, you purchase or buy something. Next one yes. is passion. What do you mean by passion? I don't know. A passion, it means that is uh, something that you really, really like to do. Okay, next yes. one is enwrap. What do you mean by enwrap? Uh, if we are uh, like something or somebody. Okay. Next one is fabulous. What do you mean by that? Perfect. Yes. Perfect. It's an, an, it's an expression. Fabulous. When you look at something that is very nice, you say it's fabulous. And the next one, back in, is enthrall. What do you mean by that? Yes. Enthrall. Yes. Oh, enthrall means um, you are yes. amazed. Okay? Yes. All right. Okay. So, um, this is an, something that we must read, okay, before we end our lesson for tonight. Get in. Can you read the paragraph? The best gift or present that I have ever received is a digital direction that my mother bought me on its birthday. I once told my mother about this electronic dictionary and how some of my class were, were using it. I never told my mother that I wanted to buy one but i guess my mother knew very well how much i wanted to own this m mm -hmm. item she had to save money i guys to purchase it for me and this is the best gift i have ever received in my life considering the patient the passion and love is ever this would not um, this would not last this was not merely. this would not merely a gift item for election read this receive device this was more than that like a wonder box wrappers with car and love I thanked my mother this fabulous gift and she was so happy to see me enter about the gift. This is the one of from Tanger Tom that I still have. I will always remember my mother love and that was blend with this gift. Okay, so that is an explanation or something that um a person uh feels when she receives a beautiful gift from her mom okay bit in yes okay so let's continue our class again bit in on friday night yes. 10 15 right yes 
Okay, so see you again on Friday, Viet Ng. You're sleepy now. Yes. I know you're tired. No. Oh, uh, what? You're sleepy? No. Oh, uh, what? Your eyes... I don't know. Your eyes look sleepy. Look at my eyes. Oh, oh. Because it's midnight now in Philippines. That's why. Because I must uh, wear a glass. Mm. Yes. Uh, because you must wear a glass. Why? Is your eye cannot see very well? Yes. Mm. I have hurt my eye. Okay. All right. So <coughs> you, you can take a rest now, Viet in because it's late already. Yes. All right. See you on Friday, Viet in Yes. We start at 10.15. Yes, I remember that and I don't forget that. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, good night. Good night.